Now, while we're on the Isle of Man, and we were there for a very long time, a bit of an argument brewed up. James reckoned that the best sports car you can buy is the Porsche Boxster. Pah! Obviously, I had to show him the error of his ways. Now, I love Porsche. I've got one, which makes it all the more significant when I say this. You can shove the Boxster. I'd rather have the Z4. It's a man's car. It feels like a proper roadster. You sit low down and right at the back, almost over the rear wheels, and a big bonnet stretching ahead of you. Now, I don't care what you want to read into that. It feels great. And best of all, listen to that. Straight six, three litre. That is a proper sports car's engine. Listen to that! <laughs> This is a modern take on a proper old-school roadster, and I love it. Rubbish! What you want is a Boxster. Some of you will be saying that that's a soft Porsche for people who can't handle a 911, but that's rubbish as well, because what this is, is what the 911 was before it was turned into Liberace's boudoir. It's a proper sports car. Because the Z4 is a modern car, it does all the usual clever stuff, but it's that bit more sophisticated. Things like the electric roof, 10 seconds from fully up to fully down, and that makes it the fastest electric roof in production. Fantastic. Just don't catch your time. And then there's the looks. I love them. I think BMW have got this challenging thing going on at the moment, and yes, at first glance it's... <laughs> but you get used to it and then you realise they're right. It looks superb. Obviously, driving a convertible yellow Porsche raises certain sociological issues. I mean, some people are going to look at me, I know, and think I'm a merchant banker. I'm sure I'm terribly interested in all this brand attribute stuff. This is a great car, that's what matters. For all I care, you can take the Porsche badges off and stick some Hyundai ones on. Do you know what? The more time I spend with it, the more sure I am I have picked the right car. Yeah. You haven't. I am. You haven't. The Porsches are more honest sports cars than that BMW. Honest? Absolutely. You've got the wrong car! Can you hear? You've got the wrong car! Oh, God. I've got the right one up here! Here! I thought you'd gone home. Welcome to the superb Honda S2000. Let me give you the simple facts. This car is £5,000 cheaper than the BMW and £6,000 cheaper than the Porsche. And which is the most powerful? This one. This one is. The two-litre VTEC engine in this is astonishing. At 6,000 RPM in the other cars, you have to change gear, but in this, there's 3,000 RPM still to go. 9,000 into third. That's what I call an engine. And this is legal. <laughs> but the power and the excitement is only part of the equation. The other bit, is reliability. In the last 13 years, Honda has made 15 million VTEC systems, and they have never, not once, had a single failure. So it's powerful, extraordinary value for money, and more reliable than a wood-burning stove. The Porsche and the BMW, they've got great badges, but this, this is the essence of sports car motoring, pure and simple. And what was it that Richard was saying about the Z4 having the fastest roof in the world? Three, two, one, go. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Loser! I said in the book. Don't 
don't believe the Germans. Who cares how fast your roof is, anyway? You cared. You cared. You were, oh, I've got the fastest automatic electric roof in the world. And now it turns out you haven't. Why are you lawnmower, then? I'm just going to push my starter button. Have you got one of those? Odd rattling sound. Hold on. night I met up with the others at our house to explain why they were so wrong. That car, your car is American. It doesn't work here. It rides like a Corvette. I have to say I'm with you on the ride in the BMW. You think. The ride in the it is atrocious, isn't it? It is a bad ride. This is exactly what we were after. This is Look, it's a physical experience driving that car. No, the physical experience, no the Honda is the one that fit. Are we agreed the Honda is considerably the cheapest here? Well, it, it just needs to be. Yeah, no, it's because the 5,000 less than your 6,000 yes, less. Fair enough, okay. And it's more powerful. The reason the Porsche, I think, is the best car is, you know when you drive some cars, you get a, a sense that the car is smiling when you're driving. What? Yeah. No, listen to him yet. No, talking? you drive some cars and, the <laughs> and, they're, and they're smiling. Oh, and what's got this too many bulge gears. in my pocket? It's the six thousand pounds I've saved by buying the Honda rather than your Porsche. Which but that's not the argument either. It's worth six thousand pounds less. Car. Why don't you save twenty grand and buy a micro? Precisely. That's not no, an no, no, argument. no, no, because no, but Bill, because it's not the better car. The next day, we all drove each other's cars to see if we could reach an agreement that way. Thing is, I've never spoken to a Boxster owner, ever, without them starting to talk about why they haven't got a 911. There's only one reason you buy a Boxster. One. Because you can't afford a 911. That's it. There are a few things I don't like about this pink car. It's got too many gears, six, not enough cylinders, four, and it does too many revs, 9,000. So listen, it's harsh. This ride is totally unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable. It's an American car, that's why the ride's so hard, because hey, it's sporty. That's sporty, got no suspension, it's sporty. <laughs> That night, we all met up at the pub to see what we'd all found out. How many, uh, how many gears did your car have, uh, That would uh, be six, Jeremy. How many did my car have, um, do you remember? I'm thinking it was probably six again, it was six. Five, because it has five. a good range. No, it's got because five. Because it's old the reason it's good. Because and it would run out of puff if you got five. five. I'm afraid it was like trying to sort out the Middle East. Nowhere near as important, obviously, but just as impossible. That's the Cheers, yeah. welcome, yeah. six it's, gear man. It's, uh, it's so buns, it's 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 such a pair of wittering Nazi boys. I can't believe it. <laughs> six gears. Now I should explain, uh, we didn't drive home from the pub, we had our butlers take us home instead. And still the debate raged. Richard, for instance, and this is marvellous, actually said he liked the ruched leatherwork in the <laughs> door. That's rubbish. It's not ruched. It's it is ruched. It's slightly ripped you, a bit. You, you said you thought they had a simple engine. Have you seen the cutaway it's diagram? It's, 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 it's got all the... No, all right, stop, stop, stop. The one thing that we did agree on, OK, the one thing we agreed on was this would be settled on our track by Fresh Stig. So, we sent him out there. Fastest lap wins. First up, the Porsche. And is it facing the right way, James? Oh, yes, it is, and it will be all the way around, thanks to that perfect weight distribution. First corner there, look at that balance. That's lovely. Yeah, I'll tell you what you can't actually see there, and that's the steering wheel. It's like that on a ship. No, but this, bit, this bit's going to decide whether you've got bad oversteer in a front drive car, and it's not going to do that because this has got the engine in the middle. It's going to be fantastic. Your cars are going to make a complete hash of this. Look at that. Come on, you Stig. That's a bit wobbly. No, it's not. No, it's through the follow through. Oh, so boring. I'm falling asleep. Has he spun it? Oh, oh. speed of it there. Look no. at that. That is, that is oh. clearly victorious. That absolutely beautiful is it Stig. Over? Fabulous final corner. And across the line. Massive speed. Oh, look, and now. American plastic surgeon's car. Look <laughs> at it. It looks. Oh. Listen to this. Oh, proper straight six. Massive speed already, must be doing it about 350 into the first corner there. Fabulous. Of course, with its miserable 55 litre fuel tank, it'll have a job reaching the end of the lap. Oh, I'm nearly losing it there. It doesn't actually Thanks need to... much fuel, the rate it's going, it'll be round in seconds. Look at this American car, more cup holders than cornering, I reckon. Look at that. 
Here we go. We've not even held it in balance. It's poised. About. Last couple of corners. Look at that. It's inspiring. I might cry, actually. Gambon corner there. Oh, sounds great across that line. Oh dear, look what next, the Amstrad 2000, off it goes. All the foregone conclusion, as I like to call it. Steve, probably baffled by the flashing lights all over the dashboard. That's a clear, concise dashboard, if you ask me. And anyway, if you think about it, all proper race cars have digital readouts. The only thing baffling the Stig, in fact, is the power of this thing after the other two. All that annoying screaming noise from the front end. That engine is ridiculous. That is precision engineering at its best. The Stig plainly loving it. He just loves it. Look, you can see. He's not sure whether he's driving or in a brown to Dixons. <laughs> he's just amazed by the speed through Gambon. Here he is, look at that, a little bit of a Ooh, twist, but it's going to be held on across the line. Now, genuinely, we have absolutely no idea at this stage <laughs> which one of the cars has won it. So we need someone from the audience, your nearest. Could you just come and help us out here? Could you please reveal for us now the time done by the BMW Z4? It's going to be good. Oh, 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 oh. It's a good, solid time. It was oh, not good weather. It was awful time. OK, and now the Porsche Boxster. 137.3 to beat. 137 no. Yes. You're yes. in the lead at the yes. moment. You're already out of it, as I predicted. Probably ran out of fuel. OK, here we go. Oh, the Honda S2000. 137 to beat. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, but that's it. No bloating.